After you've figured out how to hook your audience, you'll need to organize the rest of your content in a compelling way. Every pitch is different. The content itself should dictate the progression. In other words, you shouldn't necessarily assume that you'll move from problem to solution, to target market, to competition, to business model, to the ass, in that order. Remember, it's your job to tell the story. If you invented a cure for cancer, you should probably talk about that before you do a deep dive into the cancer market. If you've come up with an on-demand solution to disrupt a legacy enterprise software model, you might want to start with this hot new business model before you talk about the competition. One clear sign that your content is not optimally organized is when your transitions start to feel forced. A transition should not simply be a way to hand off the baton. For example, if you find yourself saying, now John's going to talk about the financials, for no other reason than you have a spreadsheet of financial projections that you want to show off, then you need to rethink the progression of your pitch. A good transition should feel like shifting a manual transmission at the right time. Transitions should feel natural, and if successful, the engine gets a boost. For example, if you've gone over the assumptions that led you to your addressable market, and then discussed data on your target customer's willingness to pay, you should be able to build logic into your transition to your financial projections. If X people spend Y in year one, we will make Z. John will now review these projections. Then, John can take over and drill down. You set the ball for John to spike. Finally, think outside the box. A little weird is good. Remember, the audience is likely listening to several pitches in succession. If they are all structured in exactly the same way, they will inevitably get boring. Figure out how to walk this fine line. If you're too weird, your audience might get lost or confused. One way to figure out if the structure of your pitch is working is to practice it in front of an audience that is unfamiliar with it. Get feedback on how it's working and whether you've lost the audience at any point. If you have a big reveal, a prototype, a patent, a brand, or a big number, you need to upend the anticipated structure of your pitch. Think about how the audience memory curve dips in the middle. You can make it spike with a big reveal.